Welcome back, companions, to the Lucky Die. Previously, Balas is a temporary double. Rajat connects with an old friend as Zoltana gets a high five. Tracing their way into the sewer systems of Falson, they meet an odd group that points them towards the horrors below the surface, and the threat of arachnophobia is definitely in the air. Will this terrifying spider eat our criminals? Is this the only terror below the surface? And does this have anything to do with the events of the last few days? I guess we're about to find out. Welcome back to the Lucky Die. stands a ginormous spider it is huge it has its front two legs waving in the air running at you screaming everyone roll initiative yay yay high roll high roll come on is this our first initiative this is our very first initiative no we did initiative in the uh uh in the prison i think when you two were taking down the yeah uh, us two did once but yeah, yeah but this is our first entire group initiative yeah that's true that's true all right i can finally start using my board with initiative tracking on it. So what did everyone get for their initiative? 19. So 19. 15. And I got a six. Why can't I see your roll? It's above. Oh, wait, yeah. you're at very top. All right. You got a six. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Now it's scared. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No, I was recovering from <laughs> my failure to fire the arrow because I'm not used to it after 50 years. Yeah, yeah. You better not kill me. <laughs> I cannot miss with a mind thrust. Uh, you can miss with an arrow, though. So I'm not going to use the air. Okay. okay. I'm going to shoot okay. a spider with arrows. I can blow its fucking brains out. My statement still says. Mind thrust has a uh, save, doesn't it? Intelligence save. Yep. How intelligent are spiders? <laughs> That's my point. <laughs> you are about to find out. <laughs> At the very top of the initiative order, we have Rorschach. Uh The spider, let's say, is 40 foot from you. <gasps> That's just that's just enough. Is it? It is. It's like I know how to play a monk. Oh wow! <laughs> um, like I know you have forty foot. <laughs> I would like to punch it. Go for it. I was debating doing something else, but I need to not. I just need to punch it right now. Are you just gonna bop it in the nose? Not that it really has a nose, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna hit the big meaty part of it. The big bop the it. Big, the big whack it, twirl yeah. it. I'm gonna bop it. All right. It's twelve. Okay, uh, you swing your fist up into its kind of like big like mass um, and you smack it and become aware that there's no real effect. Oh. Like, I, I connected with it, but it didn't... Basically, you didn't get through its armor. Oh, okay, got you. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that again. And I don't. And you okay. don't because that was an eight, yeah. All right, yeah, so you go to punch it twice. Left, right, nothing hits. Okay, it's now Zoltana's go. Um, you can see that your companion, maybe friend, question mark, is basically attempting to <laughs> fisticuff this, this spider <laughs> and failing. <laughs> oh my god. You, okay, roll your eyes now. <laughs> I am. I'm going to take my great sword to it. All right. How far is your movement? 25. You can't reach it in a single go. Cool. It's um, 40 foot in, out. In that case, uh, what can I do? Let me look at my spells. <gasps> you have spells? <gasps> yep. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to cast Bless on... I'm going to move 25 feet. 
No, I'm gonna fuck it. I'm gonna bolt. What is it called? Dash. Dash. Thank you. I'm gonna dash. Okay, so you're in melee range of it, and that was your movement and your action. Do you have a bonus? Uh, not one that I want to use. Okay, uh, that just puts you in melee range with it, yeah? Excellent. Okay, um, it is now the spider's go. Okay. Who is somewhat slightly better than, than you know, Balance, who seems to have no idea what's going on right now. Um, all right, um, the spider kind of looks down and sees this rather annoying dragonborn just like attempting to punch it in the gut and it's like audio medium i'm shaking my head sorry i forgot that's a visual thing you guys can't see at home i'm literally just shaking my head um the spider just looks down at you and just basically lifts one of its uh one of its long legs and attempts to smack you on the back of the head okay and he attacks you for a natural 20 okay oh damn damn son Spiders and, are dangerous. Okay, um, and it attacks you for eight damage. Wow, we okay. Woo. That was a crit though, so uh, mm. don't panic. It's gonna be okay, <laughs> it's gonna be okay, Raljak. You're gonna be okay. It's you have crit friends, again. sort of. Um, <laughs> do it. Do and it. <laughs> as a uh, no, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save it. That's the end of the spiders go. It just hits Raljak on the back of the head with the leg. For a lot though. <laughs> Whap. It hit me yeah, really for good. A, a lot, yeah. Uh, it's now balanced, this guy. Yay! Kill it. <laughs> Please. Uh, fire! All right, so bonus action. I'm going to swap my sci- my psionic focus Okay. Uh, to the psychic assault focus, which gives me plus two damage with uh, psychic talents. Okay. And then I'm going to mind thrust the spooter. Okay. All right, so it's got to make a DC 13 int save. And if it fails, it takes six damage. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be fun. It failed. It just fails. Just fails. Um, okay, and it's gonna take six damage. Uh, four damage. Six. A uh, six because you have your thing up. Yeah. Yeah. Okie dokie. That's my turn. Okay, that puts it back to Raljak's go. Uh, you just punched this twice, and the spider comes kind of like <laughs> as a, it seems to have some sort of issue. It sure, got a bad headache. Sure. Sorry about that, yeah. I want to punch sure it. it. I'm gonna punch it. Punch I'm it? gonna punch it. How are you punching it? Where are you punching? I'm gonna punch it in. I'm gonna try to break its leg with a punch because it hit me with that, and I don't like that a lot. So, okay. Um, okay. I like. I'm digging it. I like it. Uh, let's go for that. Oh. <sighs> Woo! That's a 25 natural 20. <laughs> wow. Uh, returning the natural 20. Yeah. Damn. You can have this. Um, <laughs> That's eight. Uh, eight damage. Okay. Excellent. Uh, it's. You you punch it square. Uh, you wanted to break its leg, didn't you? I want to do a lot of bad things to its leg, yes. <laughs> do you know what? Because you crit, and I think it's kind of funny, you basically just, like, its leg slaps you on the back of the head and you punch it square just below the knee and you hear this crack yes. um, as you see this leg basically break and you see the bone, like, jutting out from the side of its flesh. Um, spiders don't have bones. They have, like, cartilage. I'm going to hit Ark in real life, but I'm going to hit the spider in the game. Um, Neil, if you want to come to New Jersey, you're welcome to. (laughs) Okay. Uh, 13. Uh, you don't have so much luck this time around. Um, and you just basically just hit it, and that's it. Okay. That's all you do. That's it. That's it. So, Tyler, it's your go. I'm going to swing at it with my sword now that I'm actually in melee range. Hey. All right. Nice. All right. Let's let's go, great sword. Go go go, great sword. Ooh. Damn girl. Damn right. Damn. So what did you get to hit? Uh, twenty four to hit. <laughs> nice. And you did eight damage. All right. So where are you aiming your sword? I'm gonna aim it at the head of the spider. Okay. The kind of big fleshy uh, bundle of. Uh, but yes, okay. Um, you wasn't quite a crit, yeah. So you basically just slash your sword into this and you see that the kind of like, yeah, you managed to get it, a clock at a good one and you see this like spurt of like darkish blood just like flowing and dripping onto the ground. Yeah, uh, I wanted to cast Smite. You want to cast Smite? Go for it. Uh, what do you say? Would you, uh, would you, how do you entice your god to smite this unholy spider? Okay, it's not actually unholy. I just fucking hate them, so... <laughs> Uh, my first instinct is to make um, 
a reference, and I don't feel like I should do that. So I got to think of something that is not a reference to He-Man. <laughs> <laughs> this is a serious game. That is yes, not a Casey sure. can. That is not a Casey can yell by the power of Grey Sword. I have the power. Uh, Grey Skull. I have the power game. No. Nope. Yeah, let's not do that. So come up with something uniquely Zoltana. What would she be yelling at this moment? She needs to entice Tear to help her. By the power of Tear, I shall rain justice upon you. Cold. I love it. Let's do it. All right. Cool. Uh, roll, roll your, roll your smite damage then. Wow. Eight damage. Okay. Cool. I got one. Oh my god! Uh, as you as you yell this, uh, raining vengeance or uh, whatever it was, yeah, vengeance. Um, as you as you yell this, um, you guys see the very edge of her sword begin to light up a brilliant, uh, like a brilliant kind of like a yeah, a very brilliant yellowish light. And as she swings it, you can see the light like arcing behind, as if it's kind of like leaving that kind of thing. And you see it smack the spider, and you see this huge kind of flash as the uh, the divine smite takes hold and uh, begins to purge this unclean, fetid, horrible spider. It's not, it's just a spider. I just fucking hate them. Um, and basically, yeah, you begin to see radiant light beginning to uh, damage this this poor spider who's doing nothing more than defending his sweet, sweet home. So what he does in the defense of his sweet, sweet home is he takes one, or he decides to, he's going to bite down at the dwarf who have just attacked him viciously and without provocation. <laughs> uh, being a spider is provocation enough. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I 100% agree. Rawls heard okay. that a million times, haven't you, Rawls? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, he's going to bite down at the head of Zoltana. Oh, shit. Uh, for 21 versus your armor class. Oh my god, yeah, he hits. <laughs> All right. And he clocks you for three damage. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> he so rolled a one on his eight. It's I mean, enough what, that what I do damage be? to myself every now and then. Like, um, I can't complain about that because that's not a terrible amount of damage to take. No, you're all right. <laughs> uh, what he does next, um, he's going to use one of his things. And he is going to look down at, like, as he bites down on Zoltana and, like, begins to pierce a bit of her shoulder, um, comes up and turns its head sideways to look at Raljak and just spits a web at you. Oh, no. You need to make a dexterity to save being immobilized and webbed. 14. Uh, you basically num- <laughs> nimbly dodge out the way <laughs> as if someone's throwing something. You literally just like the skin of your nose. You see this kind of web blob just flying past your face and you see it like basically hitting the wall and this kind of like web effect just like um, as it goes. That's the end of its go. So it's now um, Balance's go. Hi. Hi. Hey. I am going to hit it with another mind thrust because it seems susceptible to my attacks. Sure. That's what you'd like to think. I would. So DC 13 int save, and that's 11 damage if it fails. Ooh, damn. Eight. It absolutely fails. That's uh, 11 yeah. psychic damage. That's 11 psychic damage. All right. <laughs> I like how I have this image in my head that Balance is just standing there, like, arms crossed, just like, yeah, whatever. When in reality, he's, like, beating the shit out of the spider with it, with his brain power. <laughs> Fucking hell to pass. What are I you am doing? helping. Well, you were just standing. No, I, you can't <laughs> see. I'm doing other things. Don't worry and about it. And that's your six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, at this point, you become aware that you can hear more skittering sounds coming from ahead of you and coming from down that crack, um, more specifically coming down the crack in the wall that was up and on the left. Um, no. Yes, you become aware that there are more creatures moving and uh, Balance, who kind of has a little bit wider range of view because you two have, the other the other two of you have a face full of spider, you can see a shadowy movement and you can see uh, at least one more creature popping out from this kind of like hole area and seems to be skittering towards you um, and is just behind the spider and that's where it ends its thing. Okay, um, it is now Rajak's go. Okay. I did not notice that spider coming. Uh, you can hear the skittering. You're probably very aware that it's there. It's just that it's Badlands who saw it. So, yes, you are aware that there is another spider directly behind this one. Okay. Uh, 
I just, I, I'm, I don't want to waste things yet. I'm just going to keep punching it. I'm going to die. I'm yeah, gonna... there's a chance. Yeah, there's a chance. Um, I'm going to actually, I'm going to breath weapon. Oh, guys. okay. Ooh. Since I hear something behind it and I, hey, I'm, oh. I'm not doing too hot. I'm, he's kind of going to freak out. He's going to do that. And he, you need to make a uh, DC 12 dex saving throw. Okay. Uh, wow. DC 12, right? Yes. Uh, how big is this Coney area type thing? It's a line. Oh, it's a line of 30 foot. Yeah, you totally nailed both of those. Uh, right, so let's roll for Spitter 1, who fails. Ooh. Just. Spitter 2, who saves. All right. so. so half damage on that save, 11 damage for the one that failed. 11 and uh, down five. And make it five. Five for the one that made it. Nice. Okay, uh, this, um, you shoot acid, correct? Yes. Okay, so you basically just like belch and a stream of acid um, sort of arcing up and high to hit the spider behind as well. And as you see the acid come down, you see it fall into the eyes of the spider in front of you and it screams and writhes in pain, its legs like flaying up around. And you basically see it do that dead spider thing where its legs just like collapse in and around itself, yeah. revealing the spider behind it who looks a little bit Less annoyed by the acid, but still nonetheless acid. Ugh. So you have one down. Yes. Good job. Thank you. You puked on them. <laughs> I did puke on them. <laughs> it is now Zoltana's go. These th- this other creature is probably only about 10 foot away. Um, I am going to hack at it with my greatsword again. Oh, wait, hold on. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Do yeah, it. yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to, first I'm going to cast Wrathful Spite. Okay. Which does what? Uh, I can do an extra 1d6 psychic damage if um, I hit a, ca- a creature with a melee attack and they have to do a uh, wisdom saving throw to be frightened. Oh. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay. Tell me when it becomes in effect. Cause cool. <laughs> it, yeah. No, it yeah. is. Go for it. Um, All right. And okay. now... Go for it. Hold on. As soon as I hit it, it's going to have to do. Things. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm going to hit it with my great sword. Whoa, damn. I'm doing great. With, with a 21, things. you absolutely nail this thing. Um, and you do 13 damage to it. And it now needs to make a wisdom. Hold on. Uh, it needs to give... roll an extra d6, which is your psychic damage. That's a two. So now it's 15, 15 damage. 15. Thank you. And it needs to take a wisdom saving throw. Uh huh. And it is the. It, I believe it's my spell yep. save. Yep. So whatever your spell save is. Right. So that's uh, 12. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the spider rolled a two um, and it has you? a minus two to its wisdom, which okay. technically makes it zero, but nothing can be below one. So uh, yeah, this, this creature is terrified. Um, you put the fear of your god into this in a very literal sense as you smash down your sword basically into its uh, into its creepy little face <laughs> and you see like this nice kind of like slicing motion down the side of its face like making its mouth open in four different directions like a predator and you just hear this terrific kind of <laughs> as it basically backs up into the corridor and runs back down the crack in the wall <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. Fuck this. I, I don't know what Frightened is exactly supposed to do. I had my book open, but it's funny that it runs away from you. Hold on. It ran away. Do I get an attack of opportunity? Um, I'm going to say yes, but generally things that are forced movement, like Frightened, oh, sometimes okay, yeah, don't provoke that. Enough. But I'm going to go with yes, because I yeah. fucking hate spiders. Okay. So yes. <laughs> go for an attack. Okay, I'll, I mean, I'll punch it. If you want, You'll if you want me to, I'll punch it. <laughs> 23 for 5 damage. Yeah, that, that massively hits. So in total between you, you scored 20 points. Damn. Excellent. Okay. Um, this spider uh, uses its entire movement to fuck off. Um, <laughs> what do you want to do? How far away is it? Um, so the crack in the wall was like 60-ish feet away, I think. No, it was 80 foot. It's 80 foot from your current position because you haven't moved. Right. And that's where the spider has disappeared down to. Okay. Would I be able to move my 30 feet and then hit it? No, it's disappeared in the crack in the wall. Is, are we... Like, I can't see it at all? Nah. Fuck. Uh, is there any th- more danger? It's why you're still in initiative. Where is the danger? Uh, the danger is currently the spider, which is basically 
having having to run away. <laughs> but it doesn't mean there aren't other spiders in the area. Oh, right, because we did hear from the other crack. Yes, you heard more than... As I said, you heard more. You just saw one. All right. Uh, being that I can't see anything then, I'm going to ready an action. Okay. Um, I'm going to prepare another mind thrust uh, for the first spider that comes in range. Okay, excellent. Uh, I'm going to prepare a great sword attack for the first spider that comes in range of me. Okay. Uh, are you positioning yourself near this crack or are you staying where you are? Me? Uh, yeah. I'm going to go near the crack. I'm going to try to lop off a spider's head as it comes through. Okay. Uh, right, so I'll say, I'll, I'll say you can do your move and then prepare us a, 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 a hitty action. Ryoshek, what are you up to? Um, I love the idea of you guys like ambushing a spider. It just makes me giggle. I'll stand near Zoltana, but I'll let her stay closer to it. Like, I'll stand like okay. five, ten feet back, because I'm not looking too great. So. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, as you as you ready your action, um, balance, uh, you guys just hold on for that little extra moment as you hear another skittering coming from this, uh, from from the crack. Um, those of you who are very close to it, uh, Zoltana and Railjack, you hear there are definitely two sets of movement down here. And as you guys think maybe they're coming, it definitely arrives as this kind of like a um, kind of red skin spider just appears, um, just like skits its way through the hole. I will let all three of you make your attacks. See. Uh, let's go th- as we if we were doing initiatives, so, just so we don't have an overlap. Yep, yeah, it's yeah, doesn't really matter. Um, Rush, let's go with you first. Okay, one is a nine. That's not one that's is a, a miss. twelve. Okay, and that's a miss. <laughs> All right, you guys get him. <laughs> <laughs> you basically see this monk ineffectually punching air. <laughs> uh, here is my great sword attack. It is a 10. Wow. You prepared this so well, but you didn't quite expect the spider to be a completely different color. And you're like, whoa! Um, and then slam your sword down <laughs> to the ground. Okay, it's all on you, Balance. It's all on you, baby. All right. Balance, get Intelligence them. saving throw. If it fails, nine psychic damage. Balance saving. It fails. Nine psychic um, damage. Nine psychic damage. Okay. As I continually assail these things with my brain. You're not helping. <laughs> I'm totally helping. <laughs> Come hit one. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that was... So that was said the spider's go to come out and, and basically use all of its movement to have gotten here. Um, this kind of reddish spider is is a lot bigger than the other ones. Um, it's it's definitely not happy. Um, so it's now Balance's go. Sorry, it's now Balance's go. Oh, yay. I get to go again. Guess what, spider? Make another save. <laughs> For 11 damage if it fails. <laughs> <laughs> three minus three, so technically one. It also massively fails and takes 11 psychic damage. Uh, the spiders are so stupid. Holy shit. <laughs> they are because they keep running at us. Yep, they are. They're, they're creatures of instinct and their instinct is to eat you. So, you know, take what you from it. It's now uh, Rojak's go. You have just punched air twice. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to continue to do that probably if... Uh... Try kicking it. Go. Just give me a good kick yeah, in. Kick it for 14. Change it up. Do something different. Kick it. 14. 14. Good jump kick. You 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 don't Fuck. Make bite it. it. Bite it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> Use your dragon powers. Bite it. I'm gonna hit it again. It's what you hear from the background. Oh, no, wow. that's a nat one. Well okay. Um on a nat one, you go are you kicking it again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You go to kick it. And you do one of those kind of like high kicks, like literally like arms either side and kicking it high, but you just completely miss and you just do like a proper like 180 spin. Like, oops. <laughs> I thought you were going to have him like go to kick it and lose his footing and fall flat on his ass. No, 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 no. No, Please, no, no. Don't do that. It's just funny enough that he just turns around, just like completely, just completely misaims his kick and spins 180 degrees. I'm he used looks, to fighting people, not spiders. <laughs> he looks wonderful doing it, you know, at the, the top of the acrobatics class, but that uh, that, that was not a hit. <laughs> All right, it is now Zoltana's go. I'm going to hit that. <laughs> I'm going to hit that bitch with a greatsword. Bitches love greatswords. Uh, yeah. To 25. Oh, and damn, I'm gonna, do they. Natural damn, do they 20. Swords, and I'm going to... Hey, if you smite gonna, that... I'm going to smite that shit. You do double smite. I do? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Hell yeah. 
Does that mean I get to roll 2d? I already rolled 2d8. Yeah, you roll 4d8 then. Oh my god, If you're pumping a level 2 in it, yeah. Yeah, sorry, level 1 in it, yeah. That's 15 extra damage. Plus 15. Plus plus 15. Uh, what are you What are you yelling this time? Are you yelling the same thing? <laughs> vengeance! Uh, rain! Vengeance! Fuck you, spider! <laughs> <laughs> the ra- you, spider's pretty good. I will bring a rain of vengeance upon thee! That's fucking incredible. Because Zoltana loses the New York you know accent. What? Do you know what? <laughs> she loses. She smiles so hard that she loses. Do you know what? Her. She smokes so hard. Um, the reason she sounds different in this smoting action is she's literally embodying tear right now. As you see this vengeance filled paladin raising her great sword, yelling to the skies about raining avengers upon the all. And you see her sword glow a bright, bright white. It's almost difficult to look at, apart from Rao, who's facing the other one. <laughs> 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 you see her smote this spider from existence. You see her smashing down. Um, and this huge light sword just basically cleaves this spider in half. It only had five hit points left. I'm like, fuck that. It's a smite. It's amazing. Um, so, yeah. You smote this horrible red spider in twain. Fuck, I love being a paladin. <laughs> <laughs> Paladins are dirty, man. They can be real dirty. Okay. Um, you being closest to target, um, sorry, you being closest to the crack here, Zoltana, you see the green spider that you smacked before, the second green spider, and it's it's skittering towards you, um, and I need you to make a dexterity saving throw to avoid being webbed and immobilized. Oh, this is gonna go great. I'm so good at dexterity. Let's see. Huh? Six- oh, wow. hey, 16. It actually did go great. You dodge that like you don't give a monkey. In fact, I'm even going to say you stand still. <laughs> like the embodiment of Tear is standing here so solidly right now. Um, you just see this like web just like fly past you, like it, it completely and utterly missed. Because that's just kind of funny, you're just standing there. All right, it is, uh, it's now Balance's guy. You can see the very edge of this spider as it's standing in this ginormous like crack in the wall. All right, well, uh, Mind Thrust has a really long range, so I'm going to hit it again. Brain power. Uh, 10 damage if it fails. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. The spider, um, once again, rolled a three minus a three is a zero, so technically one. Um, it takes 10 points of damage. Uh, this spider lets out a horrific scream like it has the worst headache. I feel, oh, I feel that. I've had those before. Oh, Relatable. Man. Yeah. I never thought I'd relate to a spider, but here I am. <laughs> here you are. Yeah. Sad times, eh? Sad times. Sad times. And this is why you should never make intelligence your dump stat. Yep. Hey. All right. It's uh, <laughs> it's now ban- it's now a Roshmax go. The question is, can you hit something? Um. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> thanks, Neil. Can he I can make a request? Himself. It's out of if the. You d- go ahead. If you do hit the spider, can you please edit in the One Punch Man music? <laughs> <laughs> one Punch. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to say you can move to be really close to it, You're basically. So yeah. I can melee like, it. Yeah, I'm going to say you can get close enough to melee it, yeah. Okay. You turn yourself around. I, 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 I find where I am, and I find where he is, and then I'm going to punch mm-hmm. it. 15 for 4 damage. You finally connect with this spider, <laughs> other than like breaking its leg, the, the form of the spider's leg. You manage to clock this one good, uh, like square in one of its eyes. You feel it kind of like squish around your hand. Mm. And then again, for another four damage, 23 uh, hit. Again, yeah, that does. You you take out another eye, because why not? Okay. Uh, it doesn't look particularly healthy right now. I use a key point and I'm hit again. Go for it. 17 for seven damage. Nice. You're... You uh, you basically like real up. How to, how to, how? Tell me what you're doing. I'm gonna reach in that hole, and like with my punch, I'm gonna grab it and pull its corpse out. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. What you guys see like smack smack. You see these two eyes basically explode, and then you see his hand go back in for a third strike. Like, what the hell is he doing? He grabs it, like, um, basically shoving its hand in, into, like, a, you know, a portion of, like, round where its nose between the eyes would be, and literally pull this spider out from the hole and smash it against the wall behind him. <laughs> and the spider falls down, dead to the ground. And you guys are out of initiative. Ugh. Oh, hey. God, I'm starting to wish that Fucking fisties fat ass didn't break the gallows. (laughs) (laughs) 
Balanced runs up to join the rest of them. Is like, well, that was a good good first run. <laughs> wait, wait. Um, Rorschach's looking pretty uncomfortable right now. Um, oh, he's looking particularly uh, not great. Um, the Zoltana, would you like to do it or shall I? I will do it, and I will lay on hands for five points. Why not? Okay. I like you. So uh, here you go. Mm. I remember that I have an accent. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your accent? Tear. Tear. Tear smote the accent from my body. <laughs> he was like, fuck that accent. <laughs> smote that from you too. Um Okay, yeah. So as as she lays her hands upon you, you you all see kind of like the the wound is on the back of of um of his head begin to essentially just glow a slight yellowish color and then begin to knit over and heal up a bit. Uh, still a little bit under the weather, but probably no worse than anyone else. All right, you guys can see along the length of this crack, and you can tell that um that the earthquake has done significant damage in this area. You can see that this this crack in the ward opened up. There's debris all over the ground. You can see a bit further down the corridor um, with with the kind of limited light that you have. Oh, my God, were you fighting with the torch in your hand? No, no, no. <laughs> okay, I guess she was on the ground somewhere. Yeah. He would have okay, cool. dropped uh, it, like, close to where he could. Yeah. I mean, you could have been holding it. It's not like it actually, uh, like, ho- like, hurts. I mean, yeah. to be fair, you pro. I mean, with... How bad you were doing, it would make sense if you were If I was it. still holding a torch <laughs> and just punching at this. Yeah. Gives you an excuse. Whatever, whatever I, looks best. Imagine that. I think you holding the torch would be the greatest thing. Okay. <laughs> because then you would have done that, like punching it twice in the face and going back for a third strike with a single hand and a torch <laughs> in the other. I think we need to write on and say that's the thing. Because that's cool. Yes. All right. Yeah. So you can see, you can see a good portion down this corridor. Um, and it, and I do say corridor. It's not a sewer. It's not built of the same. Uh, it's not hewn in. It's not built of the same. Uh, the same stone. Um, with your dwarven heritage, you know that this is definitely stone that came from Dark Hammer, um, the Dark Hammer stronghold. Um, it's that kind of familiar home rock you're very used to. This has clearly been ported in from from there. You can tell that this is a very very long corridor. Um, it's it's maybe a maybe two people wide. You could probably just fit two people down this corridor um, if you're walking walking like that. Um, you can see that there are a lot of webs down here. You can see there are a lot of old cocoons down here. The webs down here are very old. They are, don't have that kind of newish kind of like a gleam or kind of glisten to them. These are old. They're covered in dust. Uh, they're very very thin. The ground is covered in a very thick layer of dust. And for those of you with any sort of no, there are none of you with any real arcana sense, is there? No, I do. No, you what? Sorry, I have arcana. You have arcana. I'm, uh, I'm make proficient a in it. Arcana roll for me. Okay. Uh, nope, that's a ten. Uh, no, you don't pick up anything at all. Uh, that's what you guys see. Well, what do we need? Do we need a leg or something to take back? Sure that well, we, we can thing. grab that on the way back here, but we should continue investigating and see where it is that these things came from. There could be more. In there? I, I Balance like looks around like, I don't see where else you would expect them to be coming from. <laughs> okay, go. Well, I'm not going in first. Go ahead. Well, fuck you. Hey, you guys are fucking cowards, and she just walks in. <laughs> <laughs> Better a live coward than a dead brave hero. Okay. I ain't no hero. I just, there's no use pussyfooting around going into the fucking crack. We got to go into the fucking crack. Well, you're my hero for walking in first so that if there is another giant spider that impales you, it's poison. At least you give me the chance to run away. Thank you. Mm. And she like rolls her eyes at you and just walks in. (laughs) Brawl takes a very deep breath and holds his breath and walks in. (laughs) And then on the other side, he keeps his eyes closed. And he's breathing and breathing and breathing. Balance is following in behind. Okay. Can I investigate some of these cocoons that you was talking about? Of course you can. Investigate? Yeah. 18. Hey. Um, these cocoons are quite old. 
Um, and if you decide to pry them open a little bit, which I assume you kind of do, yep. um, you can find that there are desiccated remains of creatures um, and humanoids. Um, you can find a lot of, like uh, the one, particularly the one that you open up, um, you find that there is desiccated remains of what you would assume to be some sort of either dwarf or maybe a halfling. Um, but it's been like shrunk down so much, it's very difficult to tell. Um, and a bit further along, you, you crack another one open, and this is less of uh, a cocoon with a with a desiccated body in it. This contains very small baby spiders in there, which again seem to have died off um, you. and are no longer with us. Uh, the cocoons you find are very similar the further along you go. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what you find by investigating these. Any valuables? You're telling me you're looting the remains of people's bodies. They don't need it. <laughs> um, afraid not. Um, anything they would have had of them have been have rotted through. Take one more investigation for me. Sure. Sixteen. Uh, you can't tell how long they've been here. Okay. It's definitely a very very long time, but you can't tell. You kind of begin to ballpark. It's just beyond what you can consider, really. Hmm. Right. Well, there doesn't appear to be any. Uh... Recently deceased among these. Okay. Mm. What do you see up ahead? I don't know. What do I see up ahead? Um, up ahead, you find some more of these webs. You find you basically, as, as you kind of turn the corner at the very end, um, you've probably been walking for like 10, 15 minutes before it turns uh, turns right. You have a complete start of like, <gasps> holy crap, that's a spider! And then <laughs> realize it's not moving. And it's kind of upside down and kind of very dead. Um, you kind of get a couple of those starts going through the rest of this kind of this particular corridor. And you see that there are, again, a couple of cocoons. Uh, it seems to be more frequent now. But the webbing doesn't seem to be getting any newer. Um, the ground is still covered in a very thick layer of dust. Take a perception roll for me, please. Yes, ma'am. All of us are just uh, Sultana? Just the girl in the lead. Seven. Okay. A seven. You turn left this time at the very end of this corridor. Um, you've passed a particularly large dead spider and you're kind of skirting around it. Um, and you kind of skirt around it, realise that the corridor turns left and begins to like back into it a little bit. And then you hear a click. And Uh-oh. you just make a dexterity saving throw for me. Oh my god. Seven. Hey. Rip. <laughs> um, you get hit um, by a dart. It flies out from the wall um, to one side of you, and it just like s- basically flies out across and hits you in the squidgy part in the neck. Um, and you feel the poison begin to work its way through your system, and it, it burns. It burns a lot, and you take three points of damage. Oh. <sighs> Down this corridor, it looks very similar to the ones you've been walking along. It's it's still that dark hammer stronghold kind of um, stone from the mountain. And you, as you look down there and you kind of feel this dart impaling the side of your neck, you kind of look down there and you see that the corridor has widened. It's now 20, 30 feet wide. Um, it's, it's pretty big wide. It's more like an entranceway. And... Uh, no, you can't really see that far. That's all you can really see. Um, and with your perception, I'm going to have to let you continue right on that seven. Sorry. Um, that's all you really see. You can see there are some webs and you can see that up in the kind of corners of this particular corridor, you can see that there are webs with some still live spiders on there, but they are nowhere near as big as the ones that you encountered. Uh, eh, there's more spiders down that way. Uh as you guys like turn the corner and see her, she has a she has a, a kind of a dart sticking up from the side of her neck. <laughs> uh are you all right? Uh, I've been better. You kind of have a um, it's right yeah. right there. Yeah, I noticed. You might want to you know take it out probably. She rolls her eyes and just plucks it out. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it uh, it stings just as much on the way out as it did on the way in. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, you want to give me a little health? Hey, you know what? Never mind. I'm good. Uh, are you Are you sure? Are you... Well, I'm not like dying. That's good. Di- not dying is good. I'm a little hurt, but it's not too bad, actually. 
Don't don't dwarves have a thing with poison? Do we? I'm it's like old school. I will look. I you might have a uh, you might have a uh, resistance. You maybe only take half damage from poison. Let me look in the book. Uh, you have advantage on saving throws against poison, and you have resistance against poison damage. There you go. Oh, so you can roll that dexterity again. Then screw it. Hell yeah. Okay. No. Now it's an eight. <laughs> But hey, you only take one damage. One point of damage, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, do you think there's other big spiders? Uh, nah, the smaller. It seems like this part of this cave, or whatever it is, is vastly untouched. I'm saying maybe this is reports back time, or are you guys still dead set on finding more spiders? Um, I think it best if we continue on, but we can always send a uh, a quick ping to Caden, letting him know. Your message we have was like 300 a... foot. <laughs> yeah, oh, say, right. Don't we have a range? Mm-hmm. He, so far as you know, he knows where you are. Right. And he knows so if far we're as you okay. Know, he knows how you are. Yeah. But he doesn't, you can't communicate with him. Okay. No, I think it's best if we just continue on. Okay. All right. This is again you. You basically, without doing any any active checking or anything, you guys will see the same as what Zoltana just saw with the the couple of smaller spiders. Um, I'm still saying they're fucking huge compared to what I'm okay with the spiders. But you see some, you know, smallish spiders um, in the webs in the corners of this corridor. It's about thirty foot wide, um, and it's completely covered in a very thick layer of dust on the ground. Can I take a look around? Uh, try to find any more traps. Okay, I will need you to make an investigation check for me, please. Absolutely. That's what I was trained for. That's a 17. Okay, um, you look to your left and to your right, and you can see there's a series of holes in the wall, um, and you see them paced every 20 foot, um, just a series of these holes. And you can also see that between these, that there seems to be some sort of engravings on the walls, um, especially the left-hand side, the right one less so, but definitely on the left. And you get the idea to look at the ground and you kind of like, and and like breathe away some of the dust. And you see that every 20 foot, there seems to be a band of dark green on the ground. Um, And the ground itself is actually, um, it's actually kind of like a whitish marbly color, apart from these bands of green. But the dust was so thick in here, you couldn't see it until you moved the dust. All right. Um, I'm going to duck down on the floor. So, like, I'm basically par- like laying on it. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to take one of my short swords and reach out and tap one of the lines. Uh, as a dart flies across. And if I tap it again? Dart flies across. As I said, there are a series of these holes. Um, they just... From all the holes or like just the one that's nearest to that line? Um, just the ones that are in line with that line. Okay. So there's a series of holes every 20 foot. Um, you you can't... 17, yeah. Um, you notice that sometimes uh, it doesn't... It seems to be random which one of these holes these darts come out from. Hmm. And you're fairly certain that that bottom one, that definitely fired out twice. That's interesting. Right, well, this place seems to be booby-trapped. There are a bunch of lines on the ground here. I don't know. It it seems that they're paced out. Um, If we're going to continue forward, we're going to have to do something about this. Uh, Let me try one more thing. Uh, Ral, take this other short sword I have here and balance hands him his second short sword. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um. Take this sword and put it in front of this hole here. Like block off this hole here, right, right, right here on the wall. I do, but it's very clear that like Rawl doesn't know how to hold a sword. <laughs> He's sort of like holding it by the uh, the the kind of the guard. Do he, okay, he holds it. No, hold it, hold it. Balance like shows him. No, like hold it right here. Hold it right here. All right, on, you're gonna hold it on the, the hilt right there. Okay. Right. Okay. Keep the flat of the blade. You see the flat end here. Mm-hmm. Keep that up against the hole. All right. Okay. All right, and then once. Bounce things that rolls in a good position. He's again gonna get down onto the floor, take his uh, short sword, and tap the line. Um, you hear a ting against the sword. Hmm. Okay, so I suppose we could uh, uh, cover these. 
Uh, I will also point out the line is two foot wide. <laughs> <laughs> we can just walk over them and avoid them if we see them. Probably. Well, right, but what you know, you have like your tail and everything. What if you accidentally brush one of them? <sighs> I don't feel like getting hit with a dot. Thank you. I don't either. Well, okay then. That's why I'm being cautious. What? Because I have a tail. That means I'm going to hit us with darts. Just go. Just go down the fucking hall. <laughs> go. <laughs> okay. I'm go- well. Then I'm going to be rather cautious about this. So balance is going to s- take back his sword first of all. Okay. And he's going to step over the first line. Yep. And then uh, as he gets close to where he thinks the second line is, then clear off enough of the dust so that he can see it. Yep. And repeat the process until he gets to the other side. Okay. You either, um, uh, you other two going with? Uh, I'm going to like wait until he's cleared all the lines because I obviously am not very perceptive. Um, it's He goes probably about six or seven of these. He's beginning to go out of your visual range. All right. Well, I'm going to slowly follow after him then. Uh, very, very cautiously. I don't want to get hit with another dart, please. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say they're only two foot wide. They're not ginormous. You can just like with a bit of a oh no, you're a dwarf. You can have a short gait. Fuck you? my life. Um, <laughs> what I gotta roll? <laughs> I'd say it's like one dexterity saving throw. What did I get? I got an eleven. Uh, yeah, you step over each of these. Hell yeah. Uh, you just you just like you get in a bit of a rhythm after a while, like step 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 step, step kind of that kind of thing. Have you ever uh, played hopscotch? It's like yeah, hopscotch. Step, step. Whoa. Step, step, step. Just hop, hop, yeah. hop. All right, so you get to about seven of these um, balance, and then you kind of like, whew, but you can't see any more lines, at least not for a good, like, 20, 30, 40 foot. And you keep doing this as you're going along, I assume. And then, whew, and you see that there is a red two-foot-wide line on the ground. And on the other side of that, you see a two-foot-wide blue line and then a two foot wide green line mm. <laughs> are there any loose rocks uh yeah let's go with yes all right yeah I'm, why not i'm gonna grab some rocks and i'm gonna like ping each of the lines in turn yep uh pebble pebble sized rocks don't don't have any illusions i'm braining people with these things um no just kind of pebbly things and you chuck one at the orange and you see um a magical fire just completely engulf that two foot uh, two foot wide um 30 foot length kind of um area and it just engulfs it with fire i assume it goes out after a few seconds or whatever yeah yeah it's there for like three seconds and then whew, it's huh. gone. okay uh hmm. whatever is in here someone really didn't want us getting to it uh and then the blue line um as you do that you see an electrical force just crackle across this area, and that stays there for also about three seconds. And then the green one? Pew, pew, pew. As you see a complete series of darts. Um, you Probably, you kind of, it's a bit too quick to catch exactly how many, but there were a lot. Oh, boy. Uh, have, have the others caught up at this point? Let's go with yes. I wasn't far behind you. Okay. Yeah, let's go with yes. Uh, so this one's a little bit harder. Uh, there's about a six foot gap here where if you touch any of these three wounds, you're going to get hurt. Any ideas? Turn back. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. Sorry. I'm not an idea man. Mm. It might be best if we go and report in with, uh, Caden and Demi. Yeah. You can take an investigation check if you like. For what purpose? To figure out a well, way over. Uh, because at the moment you've only just tested these particular things. Um, you've just like thrown. The, See if maybe there's like a way to deactivate there them. There may be other things here that you haven't looked for. Uh, um, so you're more than welcome to take an investigation check should you wish. Sure. Talvin didn't raise no fool. <laughs> exactly. 14. Okay. Um, as you kind of look around trying to figure out maybe how to get past some of these. Um, your eyes are drawn to the engravings on the wall on the left and on the right. Um, on the ones that are kind of on the left-hand side, they seem to be a little bit more detailed. They show two people. Um, 
Yeah, two humanoids. You can't exactly tell whether they're elves or dwarves or anything. It's just two humanoids. And you see that they have interlinked hands and they seem to be passing through fire. Um, And in that particular image, there seems to be like a radiant glow around one of them. And that's the nearest image to you that you can see properly. That's rather peculiar. So the image, it makes them look like they're holding or like their arms are linked together and they're just walking through clear? Uh, yeah, the one thing that kind of like really starts, uh, stands out is one of these two has like a, it's kind of drawn as a series of lines like emanating from them and going outwards. Um, yeah, from one of the figures. So like and there a- are to a lesser extent some thinner lines coming out from the person um, that they are linked with. It's like a barrier of some sort, it seems like. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of us are capable of such things. Um, hmm. I mean, a six-foot gap isn't that difficult for us to leap, I suppose. It's definitely doable. Only concern is, uh, Sultana, your armor is a little bit heavy, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. I don't know if I can make it. I don't think I can make a six foot gap leap. Uh, Roll, what if we do a, give her a boost? Maybe like a run jump. Um, I can try. You want to toss the dwarf? Nobody tosses a dwarf. <laughs> Fastball special. <laughs> All right. Do so roll, roll and balance. Like I get do that. Like they clasp hands, like making like a, a platform from which Sultana can leap off of. This is this is so embarrassing. <laughs> All right, Zoltana, t- take a take a running leap, and we'll we'll toss you the rest of the rest of the way. Okay, getting ready for y'all to kill me. Sure. Uh, take an acrobatics check with advantage me. because of your companions. Ha, okay, ooh, hold on. Wa, ye, ha, ho, ho. Ha, ooh, wa, Come on, ha, you got this. Uh. Twelve. No, 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 no. Wasn't you didn't do with advantage. advantage. Oh shit! Keep going. Advantage. Come on, go. One oh, more. On. Give me a second. Oh my god! <laughs> no, keep doing it. Keep doing it. <laughs> god damn it! Hit the button. You just pressed it. One. Oh my god. Wait. Wait. <laughs> what? Wait. <laughs> No, All no. Right. Give her so, the 12, please. Give the 12. Okay, so technically what has just been rolled was a single acrobatics and then there was a re-roll done through roll 20 which had advantage and they were both natural ones. <laughs> um, I'm going to take the 12 because I'm not, to contrary belief, a bastard. Um, <laughs> oh my God. natural ones. Oh my God. fucking God. I have never seen... I've seen it the other way round where disadvantages end up with both being crits, but I have never seen... That. Thank you. Continue, I've had that Mr. happen to me once. Oh. I want. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. I, I crave the sweet release of death. <laughs> you, you're about to get that. <laughs> All right. You you basically you 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 take a step. You take like a back as far as you can, which is about twenty. Um, no, it's actually quite far back. You can make it. So you can be about sixty foot. I think uh, forty foot. So you back up quite a distance, you take a running jump and you run, you jump onto their hands and they basically propel you over this six foot cap <laughs> and you basically like teeter on the very edge of like landing and your the back of your heels just clip the green line, but you kind of shuffle forward just enough. So take another dexterity saving throw uh, to see whether you get nailed by this Without advantage. Things. Hold on, let me try. Without advantage, off. no. Like a smart person. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, that was incredible. Da, da, three. <laughs> da, 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 da. I uh, suck. Oh, <laughs> it's Dexterity. poison. It's poison, so you'd get it. I'm going to let you have advantage because you're a dwarf. Oh, yeah, true. I know it's te- not technically how this is supposed to work, but I think this makes sense. Okay. <gasps> just just hit Dexterity once more. Oh my god, why is he. <laughs> 14. <laughs> Oh, the first one was a fourteen. Was, yeah. yeah, the first one was a fourteen. Oh, my gosh! All right, um, yeah, yeah, you you dodge you dodge nimbly out of the way this time. Uh, it was just your heels that clipped it. So you kind of lean forward a little bit, and you have made it over over this six foot band of hell. Hey, oh, I'm boy. alive what do you now. What do you see? Now I will roll perception and get a three. You do not need to get perception. You are on the other side. What do I see, DM? 
Hello I don't know. from the <laughs> other <laughs> side. <laughs> Having jumped this, you can see that at the end of this corridor, um, you can see that so far as you can tell, there are no more weird things in, uh, carved on, on sides of the walls anymore. There are no, um, it doesn't look like there are any bands on the floor. Um, to be fair, it's pretty thick dust, but kind of looking around, you don't see, like you have begun to pick up that kind of like faint darkness below uh, the dust. And you don't really see that as you go along. Um, and you can see at the very end of this, there is, there is a door. And the door is stone. It's covered in various markings. And you can tell from even where you are that it's it's a language of some sort. It's just a little bit too far of your range right now. You can't see any obvious ways of entering or using this door. Um, but you can also tell on the grounds there is a bracket. There is an old torch and a series of nails hammered into the wall. This is what you see from where you are. Well... I have no way of getting back over. Which is we'll be with you in a moment. Uh, and Balance is going to uh, jump over as well. Okay, take an acrobatics for me. All right. Wow, that's terrible. That's a nine. Take a dexterity saving throw. 20. Oh. Non-natural. Non-natural. Okay. You basically take a step back. You go for a running jump. And you land firmly in the green. Um, but you kind of use your momentum to roll forward and you only take a single point of poison damage. Woo. It like grazes me. Yeah. Only because you got the 20 um, is the only reason that I only hit you once. Yay. All right. Rajak, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Getting myself ready to die. Um, from my end, can I take my short sword and block the, the dart hole so that in case Raul does screw up, it doesn't hit him? There are a series of darts. You could cover some of them. So I'll cover some I of them. Would allow, I would allow, like, a, if you do land in the green, I'll allow advantage on your saving throw. So, right. yeah, you have that, oh, should you wish. Here we go. 22. Yeah. Oh, dude. Hey. You, <laughs> is there a cool way you want to cover these six foot? I mean, I just want to, like, leap over there, and when he lands, he doesn't make any noise at all, and he just looks at you. Do you want to do a standing landing. jump? Because that would be fucking rad. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You basically, you guys just see Raljak kind of like bend his knees a bit and literally just get as low to the ground as he can. And he, you see this massive push off, probably involving his tail as well. Um, and you see him just like go upright, go through the air and land very quietly, very graciously on the other side. <laughs> all right. All right. No need to show off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> This is where you guys are. Yeah, you guys are on the other side. This, that's, and uh, yeah, um, you guys can all see that. Now the torch is also over here. Yeah, you flipped with your t your torch as well because that's what's rad. Um, you <laughs> over here with the torch, and you guys can see more pronounced the markings that are upon this door. Do um, I recognize the language? Let me have a look. Okay, I need Zoltana and Ralshak. To make a wisdom saving throw for me, please. Okay. I can do that. Um, okay. Six. Uh, <laughs> six? Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, uh, rip. Hail Satan. Rip. Hey, wow. we, need one, we um, need one more six and then we can say hail go Satan. Go on then. For sheer luck and hilariousness. <laughs> <laughs> you save, you don't uh, give a monkeys. No, nope, I got a 20. 20. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's all turn up. Yes. When you when you begin to approach this door and begin to kind of try and maybe perhaps read some of the markings on this door, mm -hmm. um, you get this intense flash of light in your mind, and you begin to you aren't here for the moment. Your your body's there, but your mind is definitely not with the rest of the group, and you see darkness you see a light forming in the center of this darkness. Um, you can't see yourself, you can't feel yourself, you're just watching it. And you see this light being shattered into seven different pieces and being spread and pulled apart and thrown out into the darkness to the point where you can no longer see those lights. And then you're back with everyone else. Raljak, you see the absolute 100% opposite. You see darkness. You are in bright light and you see 
a dark orb appearing in front of you. You see it shatter into seven pieces and then spread out until you can no longer see the darkness and then you're back with everyone else. Balance. You are aware that your companions have just stopped dead, almost literally in mid-step. You notice everything about them has frozen. They're no longer breathing, they're no longer br- blinking. They are just frozen. And then, boom, they're back with you. You you cannot read the writing on the door. Huh. Wow. Are you guys okay? Uh. Yeah, it was... Strange. Yeah. What happened? You just stopped dead in your tracks for a moment. Light. It was dark? Wait. Was it light or dark? It was light. Dark. There was a dark thing. It split into seven things and it went away. No, no. There was a uh, there was a light thing that split into seven things and went away. Hmm. It was dark. It was light. <laughs> that interesting. Can either of you read what's on this uh, door here? Perhaps it has a clue. You both look at the door and all you see are squiggles, just brunes, some things scratched into the surface. Nope. No. Hmm. You're not affected by that? You didn't see anything? I didn't see anything, no. Step closer. Uh, Balance walks up to the door. You get closer. You don't feel any different. You don't sense anything you can't read the writing and then you hear your friend is is there something I can do I don't know is there something you can do bring the lights to the door I need to see these balance turns around Raul can you bring the torch up here please um he reluctantly (laughs) goes up to the door um, you can see, now that you're closer, um, that there are two distinct forms written here, two distinct different scripts. And he says, ah, one appears to be celestial and the other is abyssal. I have not seen this in a very long time. <gasps> but you have seen it. <laughs> I have seen celestial and abyssal written, yes, but... I have not seen Abyssal written in a very long time. Uh, me balance is aware of Celestial and Abyssal being the languages of demons and uh, like angels, right? Correct, yes. Yeah. Do you know what this says? What it means? <laughs> of course I do. To protect the future from the darkness, we ripped apart the lights of the past and placed them here. If today is the day, reassemble the light and save the future would appear perhaps you are in the right place and then you feel him retract back into his corner of your mind hmm to protect the future from the darkness we ripped apart the lights of the past and placed them here if today is the day reassemble the light and save the future fascinating what else is in this area there's the door what else is there? There is a bracket on the ground. There is an old torch. And up on the side, you can see there are a series of nails hammered into the wall. What's going on with the nails? Is like, Are they holding up something? or uh, They're currently just hammered into the wall. They're protruding by like three or four inches or something. Is there a pattern to them? Um, they are two in a straight line. Hmm. Raul, let me see your torch for a moment. I hand him the torch. I take the torch and go to the old torch that's on this thing. It's just laying on the ground. Oh, it's just laying on the ground. It's not like set yep. up with... Bracket on the ground, torch on the ground. Now it's in the wall. What's the bracket for? Uh, it would appear a torch. All right. I take the old torch, put it in the bracket, and then I light the torch. The torch, with some reluctance, goes up. The torch and the bracket, by the way, are still on the ground. <laughs> So they're just laying there on fire on the ground. 
pit take the bracket with the torch and I put it up on the wall. As you do that, you all feel a massive gust of wind coming from the other end of the corridor and it kind of, you can hear it and sense it rushing towards you and it basically hits you like a full force tornado and you get smashed against the wall behind you. And just as that ends, you can feel the door behind you shift and move and begin to open and the door behind you begins to descend and a faint blue glow appears and engulfs you all. Hi, I'm Valonda. I'm the World of Bikron. Uh, hi, this is Zeltana Thunderhat. Then hello, my name is Valance. My name is Neil. Oh, fuck. <laughs> my <laughs> name is Raw, voiced by Neil. Oh no, Raul, you're having identity issues again. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm passed off again. Look at that. Oh, oh he's uh-huh. on the floor again. We we just wanted to thank you for listening uh, to this week's episode of The Lucky Die. Yes, and if you want to find us on Twitter, you can follow us at TLDPod. I personally am the one that runs the Twitter, so I'll feel free to drop a line and I'll get back to you probably within a few minutes. Yeah, he's very good at it. You can email us at the lucky die podcast at gmail.com. We would like to also thank Jason Basil for the, all of the artwork. He even did a very cool uh, winter themed one. I put the Santa hat on our logo. It's very nice. You can find that it's on the so Twitter. Good. It's amazing. And there's, the puff is a mace instead of a puff. So it's like, very good. it's very, very badass. Also, special thanks to him. He's great. (laughs) Also, we'd like to thank the SPAC network for uh, having us on their network. You can find them at thespac.network. Yes, you can find us on our website, www.theluckydie.com. And that's where you find some various information about the world, the characters, and who these people actually are in real life. Oh, also. In real life, Neil is, in fact, Raul Jack, the Dragonborn. Also, we have a Facebook. I run it. Uh, it's good. Wow, that's incredible. Thank uh, you. Apart from thanking the Spark Network, apart from saying check us out at the website, the Twitter, the Instagram, the Facebooks, and thanking our amazing art and being on the Spark Network, we are also really happy to announce that as of the new year, we will be going weekly. Yay. Weekly? What? That's a lot more work. That is exactly twice as much work as we're it's okay. putting in. Don't worry. I have volunteered Raljak to take care of all the work. He's got it. We're good. I'm getting stressed out again. So if you see many tweets of Neil with uh, with nosebleeds, you'll understand why. <laughs> we should all say the Spark Network thing at the same time. Nope. <laughs> that would be the new one that I use. Absolutely not. Yeah, come Absolutely. on. Nope. Yeah. Oh yeah, my come God. on. We're all here. Let's do it. All right. Are you ready? We're not going to quite be able to do it in sync because we have lag. Absolutely not. Wait, so Neil, why don't you just take the ones you've already done and then just fucking mash them together? No, no, fuck it. Fuck right, that. On the, on, <laughs> oft, oft, when I get to zero is when we're all going to say the spot work, spot network, imagine what your idea can do. Okay. All right. All right. Three, two, one. The spot, spot network. network. Imagine, imagine what, what your idea, idea can do. do. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Uh, I would like to apologize to everybody at the Spark Network right now. <laughs> we did a bad thing. The, the Spark Network. Network. Imagine, Imagine what, what your idea, idea can, can do. do.